In this video today, I'm going to walk you through my latest technique for building MDF molds used to fabricate fiberglass deck hatches and lids that look something like this. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Backyard Boatworks, guys. So in this video today, it's going to be a short tutorial just to walk through an updated technique of how I build my MDF molds used to fabricate uh, fiberglass deck uh, hatches and obviously the lids to go with it. Um, so this isn't going to be a thorough start to finish on building an MDF mold. I'm going to put a link to one of my more recent videos which shows you how I do it start to finish. But this technique here uses just a trim router and some of these guide pieces here that you can see me cutting. So these are one and a half inch wide pieces of MDF um, that I cut perfectly square. And I'm screwing them around the outside of what will be my mold. And I'm going to be using these as a guide for my trim router with a special trim router bit that I purchased just for doing this. So here's a little corner piece. Now I'm going to throw in here and this is going to make an angle on the on the um, edge of the mold for water drain and you'll see how this all comes together later in the video. So once I had these pieces uh, screwed down I just needed to make sure that there was no high spots here um, and that's so the router can slide smoothly all the way around um, the guides. So you can see here I installed this router bit and it has the bearing on the top. I'm not really sure what this router bit is called. I think it's called a bowl bit, but it's a, it's a plunge bit with a, a tapered um, bottoms. So here I'm setting the depth on the router probably about an eighth of an inch. And I'm going to take very, very small passes out of this MDF and use the pieces that I screwed as a guide. So I make sure I keep pressure against the guide and just slowly walk the router around the outside. And I'm going to cut a ridge into the MDF, which will ultimately become the gutter. So you can see here, I just cut it down probably about an eighth, maybe a quarter of an inch. And I'm just gonna slowly keep adjusting the router more and more deeper until I get it to be about a half an inch deep. All right, so the reason I want to make these uh, gutters, um, I guess the groove that I'm cutting to be a half an inch deep is because um, the gutter, it's, or the, the receiver itself is inch and a half deep. And if I make the gutters in a half inch deep, that leaves me one inch um, thickness to make the lid having a one inch core. I know it gets a little bit complicated, but there's a little bit of math that goes into planning all of this um, to make sure that when you finish, your lid sits flush with the top of your receiver. So you can see here, I adjusted all my cuts and now my gutter portion of the mold is about a half an inch thick. So you don't wanna go through the top piece because then the center piece here is gonna separate. So you wanna make sure to not go more than a half an inch. So here in the corner, I cut that little angle and that would be used for uh, making a water drain. All right, so now it's time to put some radius edges on these gutters, but you can see here that my radius bit is going to bottom out on the bottom of that uh, groove that I just cut. So unfortunately, I need to do this by hand with my sander. So I just put the sander at an angle and then just take a little bit off the edge and then I'll come back by hand and make sure I clean it up and make a nice clean radius. And the reason you do that is so that when you're laying the fiberglass, uh, it has something to roll over. Fiberglass does not like to conform to 90 degree angles. So here I'm just using some 60 grit sandpaper and fortunately this MDF sands really easily. So you could possibly do it all by hand, but uh, the, the grinder disc there uh, sped the process up quite a bit. All right, so you can see that I have a nice clean radius, so that didn't take very long at all. So the radius on the other side here doesn't need to be done because that's where the fiberglass is ultimately going to end on the mold. So now I took and split the pieces back apart and I'm gonna use my corner rounded templates, templates and my flush trim router bit just around the edges on what will be the outside edges of the receiver. So 
So I continue to do that on all four corners of the mold and then I take and screw the pieces back together and instead of using the edge templates again, I'm just going to use the bottom piece as a guide to make sure that the top and the bottom piece have exactly the same radius on all four corners. All right, so the next thing I needed to fix, and you can see here how the router kind of left this little extra piece of wood here on the corner. So that's gonna cause a problem uh, with the finished product. Uh, the fiberglass is going to obviously pick that up and it's gonna look weird. So here I just used my electric die grinder just to round off this inside edge so that it matches the outside edge. And then I come back by hand just to sand it off so that it has a nice clean rounded corner here um, where the router left it a little bit weird. So then I loaded up my route, uh, my trim router with a radius bit and put um, I think about a quarter inch radius all the way around the outside of the top edge of this and that's going to ultimately be the bottom edge of the receiver once it's flipped over. Just remember we're building everything here in reverse. So my router left a little, uh, a little edge, so I used my sander again with 60 grit just to clean up the edges, and I finish up most of this by hand. So this is going to wrap up this video. Like I said, this is just a short video just showing my updated technique on how I cut the gutters. Um, I wanted a nice clean gutter on my, uh, on my molds, and this technique seems to work really, really well. So like I said, go back and watch my, my previous video and I show you how I build these start to finish, how I epoxy them all together. And there's a few other videos on my channel that show the laminating process of how I lay up the fiberglass. But you can always catch me on Instagram. I post a lot more over there every day I, I try to post. And uh, if you have any questions on this, leave me a comment here and you can always direct message me on Instagram as well. Thanks again, guys. See you in the next one.